Hey, what's up? It's Matt, and for a while I've been interested in how water pours out of bottles. So sometimes when you pour it out of bottles, it'll be slow and continuous, like in a sink, but other times it'll be choppy and it'll gulp, like this. Once we understand why this happens, we can actually create situations where the water does the opposite, where it flows when you pour it out. All of this is actually due to changes in air pressure. Air naturally wants to reach a sort of pressure equilibrium. It wants to be at the same pressure as the air around it. All the air around me and you, which is called atmospheric air, is at the same pressure. But if it came into contact with a pocket of air that were at a higher or lower pressure, it would flow in to try and equalize that pressure. This equalization, or normalization as it's called, happens because the atmospheric air can move around freely. But if there's an airtight seal or cap, then the atmospheric air can't normalize the contained air. When we remove the seal, the atmospheric air can go in and normalize the air here. So now the pressure inside of here and out here is all the same, it's normalized. Even if we put the airtight seal back on, the air pressure has already been normalized. So no matter what we do with this bottle, the air here is the same pressure as the air out here. And this is where we can now start pouring this out and we'll see the water gulping. We're going to take this step by step to understand what's happening here. When we turn the bottle over, the air inside is still at the same pressure as the outside air, and the water here begins to flow out. Even though the air inside the bottle was the same as the atmospheric air, the water flowing out actually changes the pressure of the air inside the bottle. Pressure is force over area, so the force of the air molecules in here over the area they have to move around. When the water pours out, more area is created, which means the pressure drops because area is in the denominator. This means that now the air inside the bottle is at a lower pressure than the air outside the bottle, which means the outside air wants to force its way back in to, again, normalize the air pressure. So the atmospheric air forces its way into the bottle to normalize the air, stopping the flow of water for a second, creating a single gulp. The air inside is normalized, water flows out, and the whole process repeats itself. So as we just learned, the gulping happens because the atmospheric air is forcing itself back in to the bottle, but if we pour the water in such a way that we never actually close off the whole diameter of the bottle, if we always leave a space open for the air, then the water is going to uh, pour smoothly. And this seems like a really basic and simple thing that a lot of people already know, but I don't know, when I learned it, it blew my mind. And if your bottle or container had a hole somewhere else in it, you could actually pour the liquid out and cover the whole diameter, and it wouldn't gulp. That's actually why you see coffee cups and coffee mugs that look like this. The little hole allows air to go in and prevent the liquid from gulping even as you pour the liquid and cover the full diameter. That's also the reason I was able to pour water from this bottle and cover the whole diameter in the beginning. There was a hole in the bottom that I had covered that you didn't see at the time. Sneaky, sneaky. So that's why water gulping happens. As the water pours out, it changes the pressure of the air inside the bottle, it makes it lower, and then the atmospheric air outside is all, I can't have that water be at a lower pressure, so I gotta come in and equalize it. And then it pushes the water out of the way to get in. And if you're pouring water such that it's not covering the full entrance and air can still flow in, it won't gulp. Or if you have a secret hole somewhere at the bottom of the bottle, or you're drinking a well-designed coffee mug, drinking coffee from a well-designed coffee mug, it shouldn't be a problem either. So that's it for me, thanks, and I'll see you later. Something else I realized, which I'm not 100% sure if this is right, but I think it is, I have a hunch. Um, if you use a smaller opening, like this cap on the bottle, and pour the water out, it'll stop on its own. And I think the reason for that is because the opening is so small and the water is coming out at a, in a weaker flow rate that the air trying to normalize is actually stopping entirely this water from pouring out. And if I squeeze it, it's fine, but if I let it go on its own, it does that. And in fact, the same thing happens when I use... Oh, actually, wait, hang on. You can still leave the recording, but just... This isn't going to be used. And actually, the same thing happens when I use the bottle that I use the hole in. So if I cover this here, then it goes out at a much slower rate, because now the water has to go in through that little hole there. So I'm pretty sure that's what the deal with that is. Yeah. And that's it.